Hi, I'm Tanner. And I'm Vinny. And this is CTTV. Bringing you news from the trail. Keep watching to learn about a CT student's trip to the Democratic Republic of Congo. A recap about Kiva Week. And Travis Gray's commitment to play football at CU Boulder. First, Brooklyn Tucker, a senior here at CT, had the amazing opportunity to travel to the Democratic Republic of Congo. She expresses what she did while she was there and some of her favorite parts about the trip. Hi, my name is Brooklyn Tucker and I'm here today to talk about my experience of going to the Democratic Republic of Congo. So the reason why I went to the DRC was to open up the um, Samuel Mutombo's Institution of Science and Entrepreneurship. Most kids over there, they have to, they work and suffer going to schools because either they don't have the money to pay for it or their parents just think they're better off working. So this gives them the opportunity to like go somewhere because it's a public school and it's the first um, like modern school. Like they have modern desks, it's a modern school, like they have like good floors walls and like it's just crazy like and then they have smart boards like it's completely different than what they're used to first favorite part was just like the family i met there the family it was like i still have their numbers i call them i text them on whatsapp here and there like i just met people like i honestly would say like i would like would carry with me for a lifetime really honored to be a part and to witness something like that something so great and how like the little is like things can really help people across the world when you really give them the chance like people think Africa's poor they think they have no water they think this isn't that and yeah there's bad countries in Africa with war and stuff where there's also the good parts just give them the chance it's not like what everybody thinks like people need to stop putting Africa in like this oh it's bad whatever like there's actually so much good there and you just have to like step out of your comfort zone to see wow what an awesome experience that must be Next, here at CT, we have many races, ethnicities, and cultures. Here's a recap of the previous event of Kiva Week to shine light on the diversity here at CT. Cherokee Trail's Kiva Week is a chance for students and staff to celebrate each of their own unique cultures and ethnicities. I think it's an, a way to highlight different cultures around the world and to celebrate the ways that different cultures live and celebrate. And even though this Spirit Week has concluded, the diversity of our student body still stands to be a pillar of our community. CT has several clubs that empower and educate students, such as Black Student Alliance, Muslim Student Alliance, Latino Student Alliance, and IB Minority Club. So I'm the co-president of IB Minority Club, and first of all, it's an IB club, so again, we're already a minority, and it's minorities within IB Minority Club. And I think our goal is to create an environment where we can share our cultures and, and being a minority and to have a space where we feel welcomed and accepted and to explore that range of, of cultures. Needless to say, the people of Cherokee Trail all have their own cultures and heritage that our community strives to recognize and celebrate. Now you'll hear more about Travis Gray, a senior at Cherokee Trail who is ready to continue his athletic and academic career at CU Boulder. Gray graduated in late December and would kick off his college career early, heading up to Boulder to begin training for the upcoming season. <laughs> okay, grab it now. <laughs> Clip it. Yeah. Action. Hi, my name is Travis Gray. I'm a senior at Cherokee Trail High School. I'm going to see you Boulder and to play football. My favorite memory about CT football is me um, pancaking one of my good friends, uh, Braden Miller, at, at, at um, Eagle Coast. What determined my commitment decision is uh, my dad. He played football at CU. He was on the 1990 national championship team. And he's told me a lot of good things about CU and I just wanted to see for myself. So that's why I decided to come to CU. My goals are starting, of course, at CU, um, being a freshman, being able to start. Um, I'm not gonna redshirt. And um, I wanna see where my, uh, my hard work and dedication has, has really has put me. I want to go up against one of the, some of the best players that I've gone up against, going up against grown men, and uh, I want to see how good I am. Um, with that being said, I am officially uh, a CU buff. Go buff. Yeah. We here at CTTV wish Travis Gray the best of luck in his upcoming season. Now, a message from student leadership. Happy New Year, CT. We hope you all had a fun and safe winter break, and we are so glad to be back with y'all. As some of you may know, our Wish Week is right around the corner, and we'd like to give you guys some information to make the most of this year's Wish Week. Our annual Wish Week is a time for our student body and surrounding community to come together to raise money for Make-A-Wish Colorado and help grant wishes of children fighting critical illnesses. 
Each year, we have the honor of celebrating one kid, and our spirit days and after-school activities align with his or her wish and interest. Our biggest goal of the week is to fundraise to grant our wish kids wish. Now, some of your leadership representatives are going to tell you all about the different ways to support Wish Week this year. Happy Wednesday, Cougars. My name is Corey Ben, and I am your senior class president. Our Wish Week this year is going to be on Valentine's Week, starting on Monday, February 14th. To kick off this year's Wish Week, we will reveal our Wish Kid on February 2nd during the CT vs. Grandview wrestling match. So mark your calendars and be there to meet this year's Wish Kid. Hey CT, my name is Caden Cole and I'm a senior class representative. This year, dodgeball will be on Monday, February 14th at 7 p.m. Can't wait to see you there to support our Wish Kid and the dodgeball teams participating. What's up CT, my name is Abby Windsor and I'm a junior class representative. I love seeing the school participation in the Spirit Days during this year's homecoming week, so let's carry that into this year's Wish Week. We are super grateful for all of you guys' suggestions for the future dress-up days and we're trying our very best to put them into place. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with for your spirit wear to show your support for this year's Wish Kid. Hey y'all, I'm Kai Winbush, your student body secretary and treasurer. One of the biggest ways we fundraise for Wish Week is by designing a shirt that goes with our Wish Kids Wish. These are $10, and trust me when I say we will all be wearing these at the assembly where you get to meet the Wish Kid and find out how much we all raise during the week. Thanks, everyone. We're so excited for Wish Week and hope you all are super excited to participate in all of the week's super fun events. CT, Felix needs your help. We are so excited that the 2022 Mascot Challenge is live, where mascots across our district created TikToks to compete against each other and kick off the Wish Week season. This year, Felix is competing against Smoky Hill, Overland, Cherry Creek, Eagle Crest, and Grandview. We really want to take home the win and take the title from Grandview's Wolfie. So we are about to show you Felix's amazing TikTok and then information on how to vote. Do you ever look at someone and wonder what is going on inside their head? Felix, that was amazing. On the next slide, you'll find information on how to vote, including the TikTok username, where the link to vote is in the bio, as well as the link to go directly to the Google Forms. Teachers, if you could please pause your screen to give students a chance to vote, we would greatly appreciate it. Go vote for Felix. Thanks, leadership. Now let's hear more about what's happening this week at CT. Hello, my name is Colette Gunther, and I'm a 10th grader in Spanish too. My favorite things about being part of the World Languages program are the amazing teachers and the opportunity to learn and speak a completely new language. I enjoy the positive environment and being pushed out of my comfort zone. And I'm Austin Sherman. I'm taking both Spanish and French because they are both similar in ways that it makes it easier to understand and at the same time makes it more fun to learn. And I am Lily Counts. I am in French 3 and Spanish 4 honors. Being part of the World Languages program will help me after high school because not only do these classes look good on college applications, but through taking these classes, I'm able to better communicate with others and I have a wider variety of job opportunities available to me. It'll also be easier for me to travel internationally and explore new cultures. We are excited to share a bit about what is happening at CT. Feel free to take out your phone to take a picture. Today will be busy day after school. All girls who are interested in joining the golf team should attend an informational meeting after school in room 238. See Coach Jasek, Coach Barnett, or Coach Schreiner if you have questions. DECA will be hosting a Shark Tank night in room 210. You will have a chance to win a giant gummy shark, and everyone who attends will earn two lettering points. FBLA will be hosting a study night to prepare for districts. Stop by room 213, 214, or 215 after school. Peer partners will meet after school in room 117. At 7 o'clock, come to the main gym to cheer on our wrestlers as they take on Mullen. At last week's basketball game, we learned that our Wish Kids' favorite colors are pink, teal, and purple. There will be a miracle minute at the wrestling match for a chance to learn our Wish Kids' favorite animal. On Thursday, come down to the main gym where we will take on Smoky Hill and basketball. Unified plays at 4.15, JV boys at 5.30, and Varsity boys at 7 o'clock. Our wrestlers will head to Creek. Varsity starts at 7 o'clock. Good luck, Cougars. On Friday, the Shakespeare competition will take place after school in the theater room. The winner will represent Cherokee Trail at the Colorado State competition. CT Gaming Club will meet after school in the library. Stop by to play chess, strategy games, or video games, and make new friends. Everyone is welcome. In addition, our unified basketball team will travel to OHS. Game starts at 415. 
Good luck to our JV wrestlers on Saturday as they compete at the JV Championship at Arapahoe. Our girls swim and dive team will compete at the B League Championship meet at Smoky Hill. Our basketball teams take on Overland in the main gym. The girls play at 1 and our boys team plays at 2.30. Our speech and debate team will have their first chance to qualify for nationals at the Nationals Qualifying Congress at Cherry Creek. Congratulations to Sarah Tesfe and Kai Lassett who will participate in All-State Jazz Choir this weekend. Their concert is at Saturday at 4 at the Broadmoor. Monday after school, join the TSA in the Fab Lab for a meeting. Clubs meeting after school on Tuesday include Anime in room 115, GSA in room 248, and National Art Honor Society in room 298. A reminder that Tuesday evening is incoming ninth grade night. If you are attending to represent your club, sport, or activity, plan to be there by 615. This is a great night to share all the great things CT has to offer with our incoming ninth grade students. Congratulations to our wrestlers. The team won the War Horse Inventational at Chatfield this weekend. Nine students placed with five of them earning first place in our weight class. Way to go, CT. Our speech and debate students did well at the Falcon Fiesta. Congratulations to Ava Bockhaus, Chris Bass, Grace Pierce, and special congratulations to Chris Sun, the tournament champion in original oratory. Our JV Spirit Squads did an amazing job at the JV State Spirit Competition. Congratulations to our unified cheer team who brought the stands to their feet with their exhibition performance. We are so proud of our JV cheer team who earned second place in the game day division. A huge Cougar Nation round of applause for our JV Palms who were the champions in the Jazz division. Finally, don't forget to stop by our elective fair today in the lower commons. There will be representatives during both lunches and all of 3B. Stop by to learn more about AVID, business, journalism, speech and debate, criminal justice, engineering tech and computer science, health sciences, IB film, peer tutoring, performing arts, sophomore enrichment seminar, sources of strength, student leadership, unified classes, visual art, wellness and fitness, and world languages. Hope to see you there. Make sure you stay up to date by following at CTHS News on Instagram and checking up on our website, CTHS Today, for daily updates and new videos. That's all for today, Cougars, and remember, we are CT.